Good morning, this Tuesday the 17th of May. I'm Sophia Mavridis, a market analyst with Bell Direct. We are say the market was up as much as 1% in the first hour of the session following a strong trading session over on Wall Street. And soon after that, the market started to drop following weak economic data from China. We saw yesterday the impact of the China lockdowns are the impact that they've had on the country's economy. So China's April retail sales dropped 11.1% on the year and the market was expecting a 6% drop. So it fell almost twice the forecast. Additionally, the unemployment rate in China rose to 6.1%. Locally, the Australian market dropped but still managed to close with a 0.25% gain. Leading the ASX 200 was transport and logistics company Brambles, BXB, which gained over 11% yesterday to its highest price in eight months. This was after news of a potential takeover offer by private equity group CVC for $20 billion. Meanwhile, Imugene, IMU, City Chick Collective, CCX and ZIP, ZIP, declined the most. As for what Bell Direct clients were trading most yesterday, these were mostly ETFs, including VAF, VEU, and EMKT. And it was a volatile session overnight in the US. The Dow Jones closed with a slight gain of 0.08%, while the S&P 500 dropped 3.9%. The Nasdaq was the session's underperformer as tech stocks continue to fall, closing 1.2% lower. As for what to watch today, the SPY futures are suggesting the local market will rise 0.32% at the open this morning. And in economic news, today we'll receive the RBA's meeting minutes at 11.30am Australian Eastern Standard Time. So these are the minutes from the central bank's meeting earlier this month and it may draw some attention as this was the meeting when the RBA lifted the cash rate. In commodities, the oil price has jumped again as concerns of tighter global supplies outweigh the weakening global demand outlook and gold and seaborne iron ore are also trading higher. And today, watch, watch James Hardy Industries, JHX, uh, which is set to release its quarterly earnings today. As for some trading ideas to consider, City have a buy rating on Brambles BXB with a $12.29 price target. City say that compared to traditional leveraged buyout targets, BXB has little excess assets on its balance sheet and CVC, who are the private equity group proposing the takeover bid, see the market as undervaluing the operating business and complex strategic initiatives over the medium term. Additionally, Trading Central have identified a bearish signal in Metcash, MTS, indicating that the stock price may fall from the close of $4.63 to the range of $4.40 to $4.44, over 19 days, according to the standard principles of technical analysis. And that's all for this morning. I'm Sophia Mavridis with Bell Direct. Have a great day and happy trading.